Hi everybody, it's Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. So today I thought that I would show you how I transformed the Macro Monday image into an extended canvas size and I also used dirt from the Vintage Spring Action Set. You can see this is the image that I started with and the composition isn't my favorite. So I want to go ahead and change from a center weighted composition to a left composition. The first thing that I'm going to do is run Dirt from the Vintage Spring Action Set. And you can see that I have my photo effects palette open. Photoshop users, this process is going to be exactly the same for you. You're going to choose Dirt in your action window and press play. Photoshop Elements users, you can double click Dirt in your photo effects palette. Okay, so now it's run through all of the layers, and I'm going to go ahead and take off the Vintage Haze because I want a nice, crisp, black and white image. That looks pretty good to me, and so I'm not going to make any changes within the action itself. I'm going to flatten the image by going to Layer, Flatten. You don't have to do this, but be sure that when you're resizing your canvas size, you um, are or have the background layer selected. So now I just have my background layer and I want to resize the canvas to make it a left centered composition. So I'm going to go up to image, resize, canvas size, and I'm going to change the width to 26. Now you can just play around with this and choose whatever you like. I'm good with the height, but I do want the width to be wider. And the anchor point, I'm going to click the opposite of what I want to do. I want it to fan out to the right, and so I'm going to click the left. And you can see now all of these arrows point to the right. The canvas extension color, right now I'm going to leave white. I'm going to go ahead and change that in a second. And I'm going to press OK. So now you see my canvas size is extended. So I want to extend this canvas size to match the background in this image. So I'm going to go to my eyedropper tool and I'm going to select a color closest to the edge. Okay, so you can see when I selected that color, the foreground color changed on the toolbar. So I've selected that point. I'm then going to use my paint bucket tool to fill this area with that color. So just click. Now that's not quite right. You can see that there's a line, so I'm going to have to sample the color again. So I'm going to sample a color in a different area and then switch back to my paint bucket tool and click it again. And you can see that that corrected the color and now there's no break in the image. So that's how you resize your canvas and I hope that you found the tutorial helpful. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com.